So this question looks like a simplification question or a simplify question. Although I do see this g of x equals 13, so maybe this ends up being more of a function question. But let's read it and see what we have to do. So the question says the function g is defined by, and I decide to rewrite this, g of x equals 4x squared minus 3. For what value, for what positive value of x is g of x equal to 13? Right, how do we get g of x to equal 13? So if I know that g of x is equal to 4x squared minus 3, I'm being asked to figure out how do we get g of x equals 13. I am just going to connect these two things and say, well, when 4x squared minus 3 equals 13, whatever I find as the x value that makes this true is the answer to this question. So to solve this, Right, so this is what I'm actually simplifying, right? So the strategy does come into play. To solve this, I am adding 3 to both sides of my equation. And I have 4x squared equals 16. I can divide by 4. And I have x squared equals 4. And then, of course, I can square root both sides, in which case I get x equals plus or minus 2. And the answer here that we have is the positive 2 of this, right? So we have plus 2 or negative 2. So it's this 2 here that is the answer, and that is answer choice A. And if I just want to make sure that that's the case, right, if I plug 2 in here, 2 squared is 4. 4 times 4 is 16. 16 minus 16 minus 3 equals 13 which would mean that g of 2 equals 13, which means x must have equaled 2, right? So the answer here is choice A.